When revision is necessary, the implant is removed by cutting through what is a substantially cancerous bone interface surrounding the stem. This is done using a variety of flat, narrow osteotomes coupled to the specially designed bone cutting handset. The osteotomes are introduced beside the prosthetic stem to form a series of extended slots which effectively isolate the implant from the host bone. In some cases, it may be necessary to cut into cortical bone when the depth of cancellous bone is limited. It is important to maintain a steady flow of saline around the prosthetic stem during insertion of the flat osteotomes, particularly when cutting cortical bone. This ensures that the metal-on-metal -metal interface is kept cool and lubricated whilst the active edges of the osteotome are cutting bone. The curved bone cutting acetabular probe is used in a similar fashion as the cemented version. The probe is first used to create slots around the circumference of the cup. Once the slots are created, the probe can be used in a lateral motion to cut the remaining bony ingrowth interface. It is important to remember to activate the probe before advancing into a previously created slot and to not create manual pressure before activating the probe. Doing so may lead to the probe improperly tuning and possibly breaking during use. The flat osteotome probes are used in the removal of proximally coated prosthetic stems. The flat 6mm osteotome probe is first used to create slots around the stem. This is done by activating and advancing the probe down the canal next to the stem. Again, it is imperative to use saline irrigation while the probe is in use. A high-pitched noise will be heard when the active probe is in contact with the implant. Do not use heavy manual force while hearing the noise. It will rapidly fatigue the probe and give less than optimal performance. Once the slots are created, the 6mm flat serrated probe can be used to break the interface of the remaining bony ingrowth. Activating the probe before entering the slots will provide optimum performance and a manual sawing motion may be needed in cutting cortical bone. After the interface has been completely broken, a slap extractor can be used to remove the prosthesis from the canal. The steps in removing the tibial component with the Oscar bone cutting probes are similar to the stem extraction steps in hip revisions. The 6mm flat osteotome probe is used to penetrate the interface and create slots under the prosthesis. The 6mm serrated probe can then be used laterally to break the remaining bond between bone and prosthesis. A high-pitched noise will be heard when the active probe is in contact with the implant. It is important to not use heavy manual force while this noise is present and to continually use irrigation while the probe is active. The Oscar bone cutting probes can be a great assistant in the conservation of bone. By being a space creating tool, no wedging or forcing is needed, leading to less stress to the surrounding bone. With Oscar, no levering motion is needed, nor should be used, as levering can lead to more bone loss than desired.